We are joined by Mr. Johnny Williams. Yes, sir. It's a blessing to be here, sir. It, <laughs> well, we got to end the sir stuff, but I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, the father of Jonathan. Yes, sir. Yes, I, sir. I know viewers at home can't tell you. You guys look almost identical. <laughs> so uh, he's definitely yours. Yes, yes. Uh, God, I don't even know where to start with this. Let's start by, uh, let's talk a little bit about Jonathan. When did he start playing basketball? When did you know that he was going to be an elite player? Well, to be truthful with you, I did not think he was going to be an elite player because I am a professional musician. <laughs> I play saxophone. Okay. Of course, my wife played college ball, and I had due to injuries in high school, broken ankle. I couldn't play college ball, so I picked up the saxophone. And I actually wanted my son, both of my boys, to play saxophone in some kind of way. My wife got to him and encouraged him to play basketball because I had no idea he was going to be 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, sure. But uh, he actually started playing basketball like most of us in the church league when he was about six years old. Uh. And he had the opportunity to see his brother play basketball when he was in, he became the, uh, 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 what, the water boy. And he was the best water boy you can ask for in middle school. <laughs> and he always smiled, he emulated his brother, and everything his big brother did, he wanted to do. Yeah. So that's how he started playing basketball, pretty much from watching J2 play. So there's, you're Johnny. I'm Johnny. You have J2 and J3. I have J2 and J3. Right, so their names and why, why, why the names? So you're Johnny, you have Johnny the second, and then Jonathan. Yes. Yeah. Um, the name is so important to my family because my grandfather was named Johnny, my great granddad was named Johnny, ah. three uncles some kind of way on my mom and dad's side was named Johnny, and at one time it was 11 Johnnys alive. So it kind of stuck wow. with me, and when my boy was born, I wanted them to carry that namesake. So I named him Johnny, and then J3 came along, we named him Jonathan, and if I had had a girl, her name would have been John Nedham. Of course, my wife hated that name, but I wanted the name of John Netta. John Netta. You know, like and not to disrespect, you know, I do yeah. have a son outside of wedlock. His name was Johnny also. Yeah. So his name was Johnny Turner. So I said to my wife, I got to have a Johnny C. Williams. So we became married and our first child together, I named him Johnny C. Williams. Yeah. He's the third. Yeah. And I'm the second. Well, I got to tell you, he's a super <laughs> guy. You've done, a, you've done a tremendous job raising him. What a, what a yes. great guy. Give us something about Jonathan that we don't know. Something about childhood that maybe we can pin on him a little bit. There's got to be some good stories. Well, <laughs> I guess the best story that my wife and I share together, and you know, my wife is real quiet, and I'm the one I like to do all the talking, is that when J3 was about six years old, no, five, he had a speech impairment because he had to have tubes in his ear. So he wouldn't talk. He shied away from everything people would say to him with the exception of his mother and I. And so he had to have tubes in his ear, so he had to go to speech therapy and J3 was real shy. He didn't like to talk to nobody. And finally, when he was able to understand what you were saying, he started speaking to the point where my wife and I said, hold up, you need to start shutting up. You're saying too much. <laughs> so to make a long story short, I think, you know, he had a lot of struggles. You know, he broke his kneecap, uh, muscle pulled away from his uh, leg when he was 13, and he broke his arm riding a bike, flipped over. So he always thought thing was against him. And uh, he's a praying kid. I come from a praying foundation. I'm a deacon at my church, and my dad's a deacon for 50 years, so we always believe in prayer. You know, we always believe in giving God the glory first, and everything else would follow. So, J3, he did that. He always prayed, and I know when that happened to him with his leg, he asked God, he said, God, why me? And I said, J3, everything happened for a reason. I think you'll be all right. And it took my wife to calm me down, and we got J3 rested in the hospital. He had a cast on for about six weeks. He came back from that the next year and won a state championship in middle school. There you go. And he averaged 18 points a game. Yeah, at 13 you go. year old kid. Uh, it must have been a house with discipline. You worked in the federal I prison in the system federal for a long time. For 28 years, you know, yeah. been in a lot of fights. One son, some I lost. <laughs> but you know, just to be truthful, it's, it gave me discipline. You know, after seeing so many young black American kids, you know, in jail, it just came forethought to me that I need to make sure my kids mm. do not come into this type of situation that I'm working in. So I hollered at them, I screamed at them, I disciplined them. And it got to a point <laughs> at school where they said, call my mom, don't call my dad. <laughs> so that was out of respect, you know. I never did anything for a child abuse, but I got on. They, they put everything on me, but my wife was a disciplinary also. Yeah. And I would not tell you what she did. <laughs> but John, he's awfully big now though, huh? 
<laughs> yes, but you know, I was a self-defense instructor, so. Okay, you got skill. <laughs> I got plenty of skills. You got skill, yeah. Plenty of skills. <laughs> you must be uh, full of pride watching your son play basketball oh, and the way he boy. plays. It's a blessing, and like I said, he's such a calm kid. Yeah. And he would tell dad, don't get upset, I got this dad, don't worry about it, I got it. Just like tonight, three points in the first half, I'm sitting back sweating. The next half, he come out and hit 13 points now. And, but if I have faith, like I see I have, and like I brought him up, I won't question him. I'll continue to, to believe and let whatever God have for us take his course. Johnny, Jonathan uh, came to Spokane uh, via Missouri. Yes. And now Gonzaga. So mm -hmm. what were your thoughts about him coming this far across the country to play basketball? J3 said, this is what he want to do. So I said, we're back. But I said, that's a long way to have to get to an emergency situation. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worked out well, hasn't it, But it worked sides. out well. It worked out well. And, and, and he made a good decision. And that's one thing I can say, you know, through his faith, he made a good decision that I was kind of skeptical of, um, but he made a good decision. He went to the Final Four last year. From a 10 and, what, 23 season yeah. to the Final Four? Good decision. Great decision. Great decision. So we bagged him like now. I mean, my, my wife and I, we're here to support him. I'll be here for a month, and as soon as Barbara can come in, she try to come back out. After she be running her daycare center, she don't want me to tell you, but she own a daycare center. Okay, okay. So she has to sneak off. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jonathan's got his degree. Oh, thank God. In business administration. Yeah. I mean, there again, he followed his big brother footsteps. His big brother has a master in that business administration with a, con with a concentration on. Um, Entrepreneurship. Yeah. So J3 is doing the same thing. Yeah. I said, boy, ain't God good. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I just got to give him the glory. I mean, this smile because I am so proud of my boys. Because in the environment that I was subjected to in the work, I know what they could have been. But thank God for what they are. And so, I mean, that, I just got to give it to him. I mean, we cried, we cried, we cried because he's been through so much. A lot of people just see J3 as an easygoing kid, and they see that glow, but they don't know his true story, what he's been through. And he always prevailed. Anytime he got knocked down, he got up. And that's what I'm proud of. And wh wh where do you hope Jonathan goes from here? Well, you know, his dream is to be in the NBA. So that's his dream, that's my dream for him. Because one thing I would say, Due to his tenacity, whatever he set his mind to, he go get it. And I would say this here, J3 circle is real small. And that's a good thing. They might work towards his advantage, then it may not. But that circle gonna continue to remain small because we have faith. And his name, matter of fact, let me tell you this here, his name is synonymous with J3, that we call him, it's, syn it's synonymous with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So let's not get it twisted. <laughs> so we good. That's that small circle. It's, it's good. Yes, sir. Well, he's part of a really nice circle here. Yes, sir. Big part of it. And you know what? Yeah. This circle here at Gonzaga yeah. is small. It is small. <laughs> yes. We like it that way. That's Johnny Williams.